Hello, my name is Tony Riggs. I'm an applications engineer with Go Engineer. I wanted to show you a SOLIDWORKS 2012 enhancement with the hole wizard that may seem small, but should really help out. The question with hole wizard has always been whether or not to pre-select the flat face that you want to put the holes on. With this first example, I'm not going to pre-select. I'm going to come through, start up the hole wizard, define my hole type, maybe change over to a through all hole, and flip over to the positions tab. Here I'm prompted to come through and select the flat face that I want to put the holes on. In previous years, we would already have gotten a hole where we initially selected on the face. With SOLIDWORKS 2012, we're given the freedom to place our holes wherever we want to. On the second example, I am going to go through and pre-select the face and we'll see how uh, this behaves. I'm going to go through and change the hole type maybe to a counterbore hole, flip over to the Positions tab. Again, in years past, we would have gotten a, a hole wherever we selected the face. With this uh, example, I'm going to be able to go in and hover over the outer arc here and place my hole concentric with that arc automatically. In years past, I would have had to maybe get out of the Point tool and move that sketch point concentric to the arc with a secondary process. So I think that SOLIDWORKS has streamlined the flow of this process and should make things easier. So, hey, this is Tony Riggs with Go Engineer, and I hope you enjoyed this SOLIDWORKS 2012 What's New video.